Welcome back, K-Whoppers. We are in the final week of resurrection celebration. We are celebrating God's promise of Jesus um, being crucified and rising three days after he had died. He had beat death. He had conquered it, as God had said. Um, so we're going to go ahead and read Jesus Returns with you guys at home. Go ahead and get your praying hands, close your eyes, and bow your head. Dear Father God, I thank you for this day. I am so grateful that you brought us all together again to meet again. I pray that um, this word touches everyone's hearts at home and our friends continue to share the word with their friends and that their hearts change towards Jesus, Lord Father God. I pray a special blessing over everyone that is not here and that is here um, as well to stay safe and healthy, that no sickness enters their body and um, they are just completely whole inside and out. Uh, in Jesus' beautiful name, amen. All right, so Jesus returns, and you'll find this story in John 20, verses 19 and 20. The disciples had locked themselves in a small room because they were afraid the leaders would send soldiers to arrest them. Suddenly, Jesus appeared to them. He said, peace be with you. They thought he was a ghost because they did see their friend die. But Jesus said, touch my hands and my feet so that you will know that it is really me. The disciples cheered. They were very, very happy to see Jesus again. The end. Um, I know that was a short story, but you know that just shows the fulfillment of God's promise of Jesus being born to Mary, and then, you know, teaching throughout his life, uh, sharing God's word and the love that God wanted Jesus to share, and then at the end, where he was arrested and crucified and died and then rose again three days later. Um, you know, we, I had our friends come in, and they were so gracious. Thank you, Jerry. Thank you, Miss Siobhan, and thank you, Miss Tori for being so gracious to come in and read stories for our friends at home during this um, celebratory time where, you know, yes, it is sad that G Jesus had to die for us, but that just goes to show how much that he loved us and how much God has loved us from the start of when he created everything that uh, he knew that Jesus would have to do this for us um, where we would just be so imperfect because we're not we're human we're not perfect um, and God knew that we would sin and we would fall and we would fail sometimes and it's okay to do those things um, but what's more important to God is when we turn away from those things that are bringing us down um, and bringing us away from him where we can come back to him uh, that's what that's the why Jesus died so it made it easier for us to be reconnected with God. Um, so I hope you guys share this story with your friends at home and I hope that um, if someone is being mean to you or hurting your feelings that um, you pray for them, that you pray a special prayer of love and peace over their life um, and watch how it changes their heart. Just pray for them daily, every day. So go ahead and get your praying hands and close your eyes and bow your heads. Dear Father God, I thank you for this day. Thank you for sending Jesus for all of us. Thank you, Jesus, for dying for us um, and fulfilling God's promise and prophecy that uh, you would rise after three days of being in the tomb. Um, thank you for conquering death and that your sacrifice, Lord Jesus, was the perfect sacrifice there was um, to save all of us and bring us back closer to God. In your beautiful name, Lord Jesus, amen. And until next week, guys, stay safe, stay healthy, and we love you guys. Always be kind. Bye.